I fix this MacBook Pro using this and I will show you how. What is up guys, how is it going? This is Jack James and in this video, we will be fixing the stain gate issue in this laptop, replace its rubber feet and we are also gonna remove the barcode sticker on this MacBook Pro. So a little backstory, not too long ago, I bought this MacBook Pro on eBay for 445 US dollars or roughly $580 Canadian here in Canada, which is a pretty good deal for a top spec 13 inch 2015 MacBook Pro, but it comes with a few cosmetic issues. It has some delamination in the screen, two of the rubber fits are missing and some scratches on the top and the bottom plate of the laptop, but we will all fix that today, so wish me luck. Alright guys, just a disclaimer, the methods that I'm gonna show you right now are not officially supported by Apple and what might work for me might not work for you. So do this at your own risk. So back to the video. So here I'm gonna show you on how to fix the stain gate issue on this MacBook Pro by completely removing the anti-glare coating on its retina screen. And in this procedure, we will be needing some mouthwash, which is Listerine in this case and some disinfecting wipes, which is the popular Lysol wipes. What I would do is that I will be using the Listerine on one side and Lysol wipes on the other side to determine which one is more effective in removing the anti-reflective coating. We will be using the Listerine on the left side of the screen and we will be needing a microfiber cloth. Lay the laptop with the screen facing up against the microfiber cloth to protect the laptop and so that it doesn't move while we wipe it. Next step is to pour a small amount of mouthwash on the microfiber cloth, just enough to wet it and rub it on the screen. Just wipe it gently and as a starting point, I would advise you to do it at one corner so that if something goes wrong, it won't affect the entire screen. So just continue wiping the screen until you get some results. Now at this point, as you can see, it is working pretty well. It is just taking some time to come up with some results, so just be patient. And now, like we said earlier, we will be using the Lysol wipes on the other side of the screen because I read somewhere that it is more effective than the Listerine. So same process as we did on the other side, except this time we won't be using any microfiber cloth and we will be using the wipes directly on the screen. So let's see how it goes. It is also taking a while to get some results, but it is better than the Listerine for sure. I also have another brand of disinfecting wipes called Duet Ones, just to compare how it works against the Lysol. They are pretty much the same wipes, but let's see how it goes. So just by wiping it for a short period of time, I can notice the difference right away. So we will just use it to wipe the entire screen. Alright, so as we can see here, it is almost done, except for some spots that is hard to remove. We will just continue to wipe it until everything is cleared. Alright, so we are done and I think we have done a good job in fixing the stain gate. There's just some tiny spots that's very hard to remove, but they are barely noticeable. And overall, it looks great. Now the screen looks brand new, but take note that it is more reflective because we remove its anti-glare coating. But it is more usable now in photo or video editing. And viewing angles are definitely improved. Alright, to sum it all up, all of the products we use are effective in removing the anti-glare in the screen. With Listerine, it takes a lot longer among the three, but still gets the job done. The Lysol did a better job than the Listerine, but not by much. But the surprise in here is the wet ones. It does remove the anti-glare coating almost instantly compared to the Listerine and the Lysol. But then again, this procedure is definitely not officially supported by Apple. 
So do this at your own risk. I'm just showing you guys how it worked for me. So that's how you fix this thingy issue on this MacBook Pro. And now let's proceed to the next step. So now I will show you on how to replace the rubber feet on your MacBook Pro. For this tutorial, of course we need the replacement rubber feet, which you can get it cheap on Amazon. Just make sure it is compatible with your MacBook. And it came with two sets of rubber feet, two sets of MacBook replacement screws, and this tiny pentalobe screwdriver which is very handy if you don't have any tools with you. So first step is to open the backplate of this MacBook Pro by removing all the screws using the pentalobe screwdriver. And make sure to separate the top two middle screws because it is shorter than the rest of the screws. And let's pop it open. Lift the lower case off the MacBook by lifting from the edge nearest to the clutch cover. Oops, I think we missed some screws in there. Okay, we finally removed the back cover of the laptop. Now, we need to remove all the existing rubber feet from the MacBook Pro and replace it with the new one. If the foot is still intact, you can use the tweezers to push it from the inside to completely remove it. For the Retina models, there are large black stickers that covers the rubber feet from the inside. But using this metal spudger, you can peel the sticker to access the inner bottom case and remove any excess parts. On the other side, again, peel the black sticker from the inner bottom case and remove the existing foot. Using the alcohol and cotton buds, clean the foot area to remove any excess adhesive to allow the replacement foot to stick better. And after it is cleaned, wipe the area and allow the alcohol to dry. Now, let's attach the new rubber feet. Peel the replacement foot from the plastic cover. And using the tweezers, guide the rubber foot inside the cavity and make sure that the foot is lined up with a small hole near the perimeter of the pad. Do this on all of the side that you need to replace. And that's about it. Now, put the black sticker on the inner part of the backplate, although it doesn't stick as much as before. Also, don't forget to wipe any dirt at the back cover. And now, it's time to put back the backplate. Just align the cover at the back of the MacBook. And once you hear a click, that means it is in place. And put back all the screws like so. And there you have it. We now have a brand new rubber fit. And make sure that everything is leveled so that it's not wobbling whenever you type. It also protects your MacBook from any liquid to get inside the laptop through the holes. So guys, there you have it. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comment section down below. Alright, now it's time to remove the sticker on this MacBook Pro. Usually when you buy from a big resellers on eBay, you can come across with some of these units that has some barcode sticker like this. Probably they used to keep track on their inventory. But today, I will show you on how easy it is to safely remove the sticker on this laptop. In this process, we will need a blower, some of this plastic opening tool, and disinfecting wipes or any wipes would do. So first step is to turn on the blower and set it on full blast. Aim it directly to the sticker to soften the adhesive. Do it at one corner first as a starting point. And using the plastic opening tool, scrape the sticker and slowly peel it and i am quite surprised that it was removed with no resistance at all as you can see the sticker was removed with ease but there's still some sticker residue left in the laptop and to remove it we will use this disinfectant cleaner to wipe this off so wipe it like so on the sticker marks and it doesn't took much time to remove it and there you go we just removed the sticker on this macbook pro for some stickers that is harder to remove it could leave a lot of sticker residue just repeat the steps shown and be patient. Do not use a sharp knife or metal to scrape the sticker because it will scratch your laptop. So there you have it. That's how you remove a sticker on your MacBook Pro. So till next time. See you soon. Oops, we're not done yet. So to sum it up, everything that we have done are pretty much straightforward. And very easy to do except in removing the anti-glare coating in the screen. Honestly, before you do it, check on your Apple authorized service provider first. If you're eligible for their screen replacement program, usually it's up to 4 years of the original purchase date. 
We have just restored this MacBook Pro and given a new life with just simple steps. Just take your time in every procedure and you should be good. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you consider this helpful, like this video and hit subscribe. So till next time, see you soon.